Few landscapes evoke tranquility quite like Oregon's towering Mount Hood. Its snow-capped summit and rolling forests have defined the region's horizon for centuries, casting a watchful, stoic presence above the valleys below. I spoke with one seismologist who told me Mount Hood is the gentle giant of the Cascade Range, but since yesterday, there have been more than 100 small earthquakes up on the mountain. For generations, its slopes promised stability, a silent guarantee that the world above remained unmoved by the restless forces hidden deep within the earth. But as of today, that illusion is fracturing. Satellite data and ground-based seismic readings point toward something unexpected. Mount Hood is stirring. Earthquake swarms, once rare, are now appearing beneath the mountain's flanks. Scientists have detected a subtle uplift, a 40-mile wide patch of ground, rising as if pushed from below, centered not in a bustling city or well-trodden trail, but in one of Oregon's most remote landscapes. The air of calm has given way to calculated concern. As researchers scrutinize new fault lines crisscrossing beneath the volcano, their findings are reshaping assumptions about seismic risk in the region. The mountain's underground network, a concealed web of magma and tectonic weakness, has begun to reveal itself, its existence confirmed through layers of evidence. The threat is no longer hidden in the far-off depths. It's emerging, reshaping the ground above and sending subtle signals far and wide. Tonight, we break down the sequence of discoveries shaking Mount Hood and the broader Pacific Northwest. We chart the science driving this transformation and explore the profound implications for Portland, Oregon, and the entire Cascadia region. If this is just the beginning, what might the end game look like? Stay with us as we journey deep beneath Oregon's surface, where quiet warning signs might herald the next seismic chapter in North American history. Chapter one, Mount Hood magma uplift unveiled. Something massive is rising beneath Oregon. The headlines reflect genuine concern in the scientific community. Recent satellite imagery has captured a vast, circular swell, spanning nearly 40 miles across, slowly lifting the land. To those monitoring the mountain's stability, this is more than movement. It's a warning sign. Have the foundations of Oregon's most famous volcano quietly shifted beneath our feet? The answer from deformation data is yes. For months, sensitive GPS arrays around Mount Hood have logged micro-movements. Not the dramatic jerk of an earthquake, but a slow-motion bulge, revealed only after meticulous analysis of data amassed over time. Scientists have traced this deformation to an intrusion of magma, a deep, high-pressure pulse forcing its way through the crust. Unlike routine flows of molten rock, this event describes a significant volume accumulating below, altering rock structures and subtly reshaping the surface above. The pressure is persistent and building. Volcanologist Dr. Scott Burns describes the situation. Our instruments now leave little doubt. Mount Hood's interior isn't as static as we once believed. The magma's upward force is deforming the region's crust. It's a dynamic situation, and the implications are immense. Is this uplift a harmless signal of gradual change or the start of something larger? The science is clear. Significant uplift can precede major volcanic or tectonic events. Whether Oregon's fate will follow this pattern is a pressing and open question. Chapter 2. Earthquake Swarms, Mount Hood's Unrest. What happens when a mountain known for its silence starts to shudder? Earthquake swarms, a rapid sequence of small tremors, are disrupting Mount Hood's restful reputation. Are these early warnings of disaster? Seismic records suggest the answer is significant. Seismographs around the mountain have shifted from picking up background noise to registering sequences of quakes, tightly clustered in time and space. These swarms are often linked to movements of fluids or gases in volcanic conduits, hinting at deeper magmatic or tectonic changes. Each uptick in swarm activity spurs questions about the magma chamber below. Is it pressurizing? Is it stable? The swarms themselves are measured by frequency and location each data point contributing to scientists' understanding of the underground dynamics. Unlike single large earthquakes, swarms reflect ongoing persistent stress. This activity matters deeply for communities near Mount Hood. The timing and intensity of swarms often correlate with changes in ground emissions or subtle shifts in soil temperature, providing hints that volcanologists use to forecast future behavior. In Mount Hood's case, swarms have become both more frequent and more intense than the long-term background average. For researchers and residents alike, 
Each tremor is a new reminder. The mountain is not asleep, and its story is still being written. Chapter 3 Hidden Faults Near Portland Exposed What if the greatest geological threat isn't what we can see, but what lies hidden? The latest revelations aren't just about magma, but about previously unknown faults scientists have mapped beneath Mount Hood. Could these faults represent the epicenter of the next major quake? New mapping and fault tracing technology have unveiled a previously undetected system of fractures, some extending uncomfortably close to Portland's metropolitan core. What's significant about these faults is their interconnectedness. They form pathways capable of channeling seismic energy toward populated areas, a risk revealed by simulations of worst-case scenarios. Movement along these faults could, in theory, set off a significant or even cascading earthquake series. The locations of these new faults overlap with regions of uplift and swarm activity, an ominous convergence. Warnings have been issued by scientists and emergency planners alike, who are recalibrating risk and preparing new scenarios for Portland's potential exposure to ground shaking once deemed unlikely. The key question has shifted, not simply, Will Portland be affected? But when? And will we be ready? The exposure of these faults has moved the region from passive concern into a period of increased vigilance. Chapter 4 Discadia Subduction Zone, The Giant Beneath They call it the Sleeping Giant, the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Recent geological attention suggests it is not merely an ancient risk, but one linked to regional changes, including those now observed at Mount Hood. Could Oregon's recent seismic and volcanic shifts be connected to the slow converging plates offshore? Decades of research confirm that the Cascadia subduction zone steadily accumulates tectonic strain as the Pacific plate grinds beneath North America. Even modest changes within the crust, like those near Mount Hood, may subtly influence the regional stress state. The potential for a massive megathrust quake, capable of catastrophic damage, is a central topic in Pacific Northwest emergency planning. While Mount Hood's behavior is distinct from the subduction zone's deeper tectonic activity, both systems coexist within a complex network where stress can be transferred. The energy stored in Cascadia is not measured in calendar dates, but in the daily building of tension beneath our feet. Are today's small shifts in Oregon a prelude to a much larger, region-wide event? Chapter 5 Magma Intrusion – Oregon's Rising Threat a 40-mile-wide region of land is rising. What's causing this enormous movement? The leading evidence points to magma intrusion, confirmed by satellite mapping and GPS monitoring. Are we witnessing the lead-up to a new volcanic event? Magma intrusions are often elusive, building large underground reservoirs that are detected not by surface eruptions, but by slow, continual heaving of the earth above. The deformation near Mount Hood, extending across one of the state's most isolated regions, matches this profile. Scientists emphasize the role of pressure. As magma pools upward, rock is deformed, quakes are triggered, and underground water systems change. It's a relentless, gradual buildup, like a balloon slowly inflating beneath the surface. For those living near the uplift zone, the question is urgent. Has the system crossed a threshold? Every millimeter of uplift and every tremor feeds computer models that seek to predict whether these events will culminate in an eruption, significant earthquake, or persistent unrest. Chapter 6 Real-Time Deformation – Tracking the Shift Why does this matter now? Because Oregon's ground is being recorded and analyzed in real time for one of the first times in its history. A leap forward in detection and response. Could today's satellites and sensor networks outpace disaster? Dr. Amanda Thomas, a specialist in monitoring earthquake activity, points out the stakes. Real-time deformation monitoring gives officials and scientists lead time, the hours or days that can save lives if minor shifts escalate into major events. Advanced radar interferometry captures minute movements in the landscape, mapping bulges and subsidence that otherwise escape the naked eye. Emergency planners now have instant access to live data streams showing current patterns of uplift, earthquake swarms, and fault movement. This is a transformation in disaster preparedness. Instead of reacting after the fact, scientists and public officials can watch events unfold moment by moment and respond accordingly. The present isn't just history in motion, it's an opportunity to act on what the ground is telling us. Chapter 7 Portland's Risk, A City in the Crosshairs 
With new faults discovered and land movements underway, a stark reality emerges. Oregon's largest city is vulnerable not just from distant threats, but those closer to home. Is Portland living on borrowed seismic time? Its proximity to Mount Hood and the new fault system increases risk. Geologists warn that older infrastructure, coupled with a dense and growing population, amplifies potential impacts. Emergency plans are being substantially revised as new data revises what is possible. The combination of volcanic, seismic, and human variables places Portland among the most at-risk regions for complex disasters in North America. What if the ground begins to shake, or ash falls, while the city is unprepared? The eventuality is not a question of possibility but of preparation. Portland is now an active participant, not just a bystander, in the evolving story of Pacific Northwest geology. Chapter 8. The Hidden Web. Oregon's Underground Networks. What lies beneath our feet? A fixed foundation or a dynamic network of threats? Oregon's geology is more intricate than once believed, containing a hidden web of faults, magma channels, and ancient zones of weakness. Could this subterranean network amplify disaster? Research reveals that shifts in one location can trigger a sequence of reactions somewhere else. Energy moving along faults or via magma pathways, rather than being contained. Scientists now view the entire region as an interconnected organism, where pressure or disturbance in one limb can provoke changes elsewhere. Each new geological connection informs models that attempt to predict potential cascading events. A quake in one sector could set off tremors in another, or a subtle magma intrusion now could destabilize a different area years from now. The Upshot Oregon's risk is more complex than anyone previously realized. The potential for multiple linked crises exists just beneath the surface. Chapter 9 Expert Warnings Interconnected Perils As distinctions blur between earthquake, volcano, and tectonic fault, scientific consensus is growing. These threats are not isolated. Chair of the Oregon Seismic Safety Policy Advisory Commission underscores this point. We are now seeing a convergence of evidence, faults moving in concert with volcanic unrest. The notion of a single type of disaster must yield to the reality that these risks are connected and could interact. Response simulations now consider scenarios where fault slips trigger volcanic events or where underground magma movement increases the risk of earthquakes. The interaction between geological processes rarely considered in isolation before, cannot be ignored. The lesson from new science. Oregon must adopt a multi-dimensional approach to risk. The old model of single disaster planning is obsolete. Instead, the focus must shift to preparation for potential compound events, a complex but necessary update in emergency strategy. Chapter 10. The Cascadia question. Is the clock ticking? Is the big one closer than we think? The Pacific Northwest's Cascadia subduction zone has drawn new focus as a possible source of catastrophic seismic risk. Can changes observed around Mount Hood inform Cascadia's timing? The scientific answer, not directly, but both phenomena occur within a linked system where stress in one region might influence circumstances elsewhere. Patterns of minor quakes, ground shifts, and magma intrusions are monitored for possible precursory signs of a megathrust event. Science cannot pinpoint an exact date but researchers continue to monitor for any sign that today's movements might foreshadow a much larger quake. Chapter 11. Red Alert Protocols. Lessons from Past Surprises. How do authorities respond without causing unnecessary panic? Oregon's emergency planners face this challenge as alerts are raised about Mount Hood and beyond. Could early warning systems make the difference? Experience in prior disasters demonstrates that preparation and clear communication can mitigate harm. The moment scientists confirm significant changes, protocols swing into action. Notifications, public warnings, and readiness checks on critical services. Modern protocols now leverage real-time data, enabling rapid responses, traffic rerouting, and deployment of emergency shelters. Preparedness is measured not only in equipment, but in the effectiveness of sharing accurate, timely information. Ultimately, these systems may not prevent natural disasters, but they play a critical role in reducing loss. The ongoing question, will the public and decision makers recognize and heed these subtle warnings? Chapter 12, Unmasking Oregon's Volcanic Hotspots. Is Mount Hood alone in showing signs of unrest? Recent research spans the entire state, 
searching for volcanic anomalies from the high desert to the forested plateaus. Could smaller volcanoes or ancient craters reactivate? Satellite sensors and airborne monitors track unusual gas emissions, temperature spikes, and clusters of seismic activity statewide. While Mount Hood garners headlines, other, less-known volcanoes are also under watch. Each small increase in volcanic gases or ground heat provides critical data. Scientists are building new vulnerability maps that show clusters rather than isolated points, broadening the awareness of risk throughout Oregon. The possibility exists that a future eruption could occur away from Mount Hood, an event that would challenge even the best monitoring systems and catch many off guard. Chapter 13. Surface Shifts. The New Normal. Could Oregon's shifting ground be the new normal? For much of its history, the state was considered geologically stable on the human timescale. Increasing data, however, shows otherwise. More frequent uplifts, minor cracks, and subtle surface shifts are occurring. Are we seeing the start of a long-term transformation? The mounting evidence points to more persistent and possibly accelerating ground movement. While such changes are not yet catastrophic, their pattern indicates a tendency to endure or increase over time. Planners are rethinking infrastructure and land use to accommodate what is becoming a constant companion. Risk is less a rare event and more an ongoing reality. Oregon's changing surface is a case study on how small shifts can be precursors to seismic or volcanic events with major impacts. The fundamental question emerges. If the Earth is always in motion, are communities ready to adapt? Chapter 14. Underground Systems. Oregon's Hidden Superhighway. The revelation of Oregon's complex tapestry of faults and magma pathways has changed the scientific landscape. Can a single event spark broader consequences? Is the region built atop a superhighway of potential disaster? The interconnections discovered by researchers mean that disturbances, whether a quake, magma surge, or fluid migration, can travel and amplify rapidly. Instead of isolated risk zones, the system is dynamic and variable, with hazards multiplying as conditions shift. Bowmanick each discovery adds to risk modeling. What was once imagined as rare, isolated events now could be rapid, sequential, cascading incidents stretching from Mount Hood across the state. Scientists are focused on mapping these hidden pathways to estimate the possibility of domino effects, where a minor event in one area could spark significant consequences far away. Chapter 15 at the edge of understanding. Even as researchers strive to monitor and model Oregon's active geology, the situation continues to evolve. The recent increase in earthquake activity, the discovery of new faults threatening Portland, ongoing land inflation, and recognition of a complex underground web all underscore a landscape in flux. The greatest unknown may be what is still undiscovered. Each tremor, uplift, or gas emission is not just an endpoint, but a clue in a broader, ongoing story. This encrypted language of the Earth requires constant vigilance and humility before its complexity. Oregon's future is not written in stone, but traced in the shifting ground and silent signals detected by science. Vigilance is more than advice. It is a necessity in a terrain that is both beautiful and restless. As satellites, sensors, and scientific insight continue to illuminate the secret life of Mount Hood and its surroundings, one reality stands out. The ground beneath Oregon is no longer quiet. From rising magma and shifting faults to earthquake swarms and possible megathrust scenarios, the land has become a living laboratory for change. For those who live, work, and dream beside Mount Hood, the stakes are clear. A new era of preparation and understanding has begun. As we watch, monitor, and adapt, we all take part in writing the next chapter of Oregon's ongoing geologic story.